as you can see like what is this hair doing right here so stupid just ignore my hair y'all it's crazy Welcome back to my channel. Sorry the lighting is a little wonky. I'm filming this while I'm in Cleveland. I'm not sure where I'll be. But it is Christmas Eve and I realized that I was going to be giving most of the stuff that I got in Cape Town away as gifts. So I definitely wanted to do a haul video before everything just went away. My hair is looking <laughs> extra crazy. The lighting is a little, you know, not quite right. Just like I'm not at all like back to living normal life yet obviously I've only been back for two days um, I, ha I also have a vlog going up I know that's probably not up um, or well maybe it will be but hopefully I have footage of me buying most of the things that I'm going to show you I did lose my personal cell phone like I say in the vlog um, while I was there so I did lose some footage um, of things that I did and saw and whatnot. So I hope that you guys still enjoy the vlog and I really hope that you enjoy this quick um, little haul video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. There's a place when you are Googling places where to shop in Cape Town, the watershed definitely comes up. Uh, I think they have a website. I'll be sure to list everything um, below. But the watershed is kind of like, uh, I would say like a mini, a mini mall of independently owned crafters and makers so there's like a bunch of little stalls selling everything from calendars to bags postcards um stuffed animals wall art uh dishes placemats okay i'm sorry there's a hair stuck it up um but the watershed is super cute and it has a lot of crafters and there was a kids um they made like stuffed animals um, out of like kind of quilty looking and that they had different types of fabric on them um, but I thought you know stuffed animals are cute but my little cousin could really get some good use out of this apron when she's you know cooking in her kitchen uh, and it has it's backed in a different fabric and it has this cute little elephant with this little ear and just little ribbon ties and a ribbon around the neck have to get a head wrap I got this head wrap here. Um, I also got a skirt, but this is also at the watershed. I'll just stay with the watershed to uh, kind of give the video some type of uh, structure. But this was also from some ladies at the watershed. I also got a skirt from them that the woman um, hemmed the waist up and um, hemmed the length up for me so quickly. It was kind of amazing, but I don't know exactly where... I put the skirt I also got this really amazing mud cloth now and it's huge this I will say was $50 because I'm not giving it as a gift I'm keeping it myself but it's huge I could probably make several pillows upholster a chair a little bit I haven't decided what uh, I'm going to actually use it for but this will be mine as a souvenir for myself Oh, and then I also got this really beautiful necklace that I should have just worn for the video. But like I said, y'all, this is very thrown together. Uh, but here's this beautiful necklace. It's a uh, agate. I believe that's what the stones are called. And then this is a braided leather uh, strap. It's what it'll look like super super cute like love it uh but this necklace was one of the first things i actually got the first time we went into town and went to the watershed i went to the watershed probably three times because there was just so much there it was really hard to decide what you actually wanted but that necklace was like i have to have that necklace last but not least from the watershed i got a couple of spice packs they come with 
uh, a little detail of the meal on the back and uh, preparation instructions, meat suggestions on what type of meat you should use. And then comes with all of the spices you would need to complete the meal. And you'll see in the vlog or you've seen in the vlog that we drank a lot of wine. And that's because the exchange, the exchange rate again was so good. So to have a bottle of wine with a meal was like... 10 to 15 dollars which and it was really tasty wine and really good wine but the price the exchange rate made it so that it really wasn't that expensive and one that we had at nelson's steakhouse i'm pretty sure i have footage from there this uh wine is called a pinotage the company is called southern right this wine was absolutely delicious. Like we loved this wine. So when we found the wine cellar in the Old Biscuit Mill, uh, which is another very popular um, shopping destination for local crafts and local, you know, things, uh, we found the wine cellar, the wine... I can't remember the actual name. I think it was called the Wine Mill, I think. Um, and they had this. They had a 2013 and a 2014. I got the 2013. Just, you know, let's be vintage. Get our vintage wines on. <laughs> um, but it's a very, very delicious wine. So I'm glad that I was able to get this and bring it back. And then the guy at the wine cellar, the Wine Mill, said that if we would love that wine that we would really love this wine and this is called a ooh Sinat Sinat I should have got the pronunciation from him before I left uh, so this is not a wine that we had while in South Africa but he assured us that we would love this one if you are in South Africa you should definitely stop by the old biscuit mill on Saturday mornings they have um well they have in their area just a bunch of little shops anyway but in um on saturdays they fill the parking lot with additional shops i was able to get this dress her company's name is low studios i'll be sure to link her below and i will try to get um footage of me actually in the dress but you can see it has this lovely detail right here on the front and this little cutout in the back it is kind of a blush color I hope the oh yeah the color looks pretty true on camera blush color and then she has hand painted splatters on there and it's really lovely I got an extra large because this was the only one in this color combination that she had left um, but it's okay it looks drapey and flowy it comes with this lovely belt it's a uh, suede fringed has a little tab for you to loop the um, fringe through the little tab I haven't sat down and talked to the camera in so long and I feel out of practice like I feel so random like I'm not even making any sense and I've heard other youtubers say that before but I never thought it was real but it is you really you get into a rhythm when you do this a lot and I'm out of practice okay, we went up to the top of uh, Table Mountain which is a really big tourist attraction uh, in Cape Town it's a mountain that is flat on the top the area if you're not I didn't know and maybe you guys don't either but Cape Town is very mountainous like there are it's very hilly and there are a lot of mountains uh, in Cape Town and surrounding areas uh, so we went up to the top of Table Mountain and up there they had these packs of seeds my mom fancies herself a little bit of a green thumb she likes to you know get out and plant things in the ground so I thought that these would be really nice because the flowers are so pretty and what a great way to bring you know a little bit of easy growing plants so it says back to America from the plants that are indigenous to South Africa back to the watershed for just a second there's a store called how could I forget porcupine it was like my favorite place I think I definitely lost the footage from porcupine so you can't really see the store but it was full of clay sculptures that are then hand painted by women in neighboring villages uh, and I got these little statues they are the same statue but just painted uh, a little bit differently I got both of these from porcupine I really wish that I still had the footage from them but the stuff in there was so cute like I really loved this store but aren't they so cute they are um, fertility symbols which I mean I don't really care about I just thought that they were really cute here's the back of them 
love these like these are might be my favorite thing that i brought back like uh they're porcelain i think no they're clay they're painted clay or they're porcelain don't make me lie about what they are what they are is cute and what i am is glad that i have them trip advisor isn't lying go to the watershed okay and last but not least was the woodstock co-op so woodstock was a part of town where the old biscuit mill is as well we stumbled upon the co-op completely by accident had spent a day working in the neighborhood and i knew that i wanted to go back because driving through there were just really cute lovely shops and things that i just wanted to get in and see what i could buy and find and found this co-op and found brett who definitely has an appearance in the blog in the vlog because Brett was absolutely lovely. If you somehow find this video, Brett, you are amazing. Uh, an artist by the name of Jeff, who I did get to meet later when I went back looking for my phone, but I was not in the mindset to film Jeff because I was just stressed about finding my phone. But Jeff was a lovely ceramic um, painter that we found and really like cleaned up, okay? So here, I got this teapot from Jeff look at that like it's so beautiful the lid and the handle detail like this tea I just I'm not even a tea drinker guys like I just want this to sit around someone's house I haven't decided if I'm giving this as a gift or if I'm keeping it myself but I just want this to sit around someone's house and just be cute like it's so cute then i also got this beautiful pot look at that it's just so lovely and it's red on the inside lovely and jeff's prices were so uh, reasonable and affordable um, and Brett even gave us a 20% discount because he said that Jeff if he had been there we had just missed him um, would have insisted that he give us a 20% discount also got this ashtray that says Cape Town on it also painted red on the inside love that when I went to the Azores before I started um, YouTube, so I don't have a vlog of that. Um, I got a tile there because they made tiles in the Azores. It's kind of a big thing where they make tiles. So now I'm like, oh, maybe I just want to collect like kind of tiles. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll be used in a house one day, but they're always nice to just lay around and see them as trinkets. So I got this tile from Jeff as well. And then I also got to keep as gifts or uh, to keep as gifts, hmm, to give away as gifts or keep myself these a couple of these little uh jars this one is dotted and is green on the inside this is another one a little more intricately painted also green on the inside and then this one is kind of in the same style as that but a different shape with the bright red on the inside. And then because we were just lamenting how much we loved Brett's work, uh, not Brett, Jeff's work, um, and we were just discovering more things as Brett was wrapping our stuff up. Like we were literally there an hour before they closed and we wanted to see so many other things in the neighborhood. We said, you know, Brett, we'll be back. We'll um, go explore a little bit and then we'll come back. When we came back, we were talking about the lighting fixtures because he gave us these for free. He said, you know what? These are samples. We're not even really going to do anything with it. Why don't you guys just take them? And you can sew. It's just a teacup and a saucer. It's dirty. I should have cleaned it, but that's okay. You guys won't judge me. But a saucer. And then he had them hanging with just a... Um, you know, bulb and like the light thing that you can get from Ikea, the cord. What do they call that? There's a name for that. Lighting wires. I think that I'm going to clean it up and use it um, for a candle holder uh, for the time being is what my plan is.
Uh, so then I also just got some soaps also from the Woodstock Co-op. I thought that they would make um, nice gifts. I kept being attracted to these little combs that they had laying around everywhere, like that you could buy. But I'm like, what do you do with a little wooden comb? It just kind of sits there. Um, so I thought a magnet would be a great way to satisfy the urge for that little wooden comb. It's really cute. And then these are a couple from the apartheid era uh, magnets, photographs that were then turned into magnets. Yeah. And so that, guys, is all that I got while I was in Cape Town. Like I said, there's a skirt that I just can't put my hands on right now. Yeah, I had a lovely time. It was an amazing experience. If you have the chance to go, you should. The amount of artisans that I encountered making just things I had never seen before were astronomical. There's a lot of initiatives there to help underprivileged people. So there were a lot of recycled crafts. Um, it was just amazing. Like I was in love with so much stuff and had I had unlimited money, I would have come back with so much more. It was an amazing experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope if you haven't watched my travel vlog of Cape Town that you do go ahead and take a look. Um, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I know I've disappeared for a little bit, but when we left for Cape Town, it was very early December. There for 10 days. And then I'm here in Cleveland because right now it's Christmas Eve. So things have just been a little crazy. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.